Beast and S. James here. What's going on, guys and gals? My name is Bryson from Beast and S. James, and I'm back again bringing you guys another Fallout 4 guide, wearing my traditional teddy bear head outfit, of course. Now, in this video, you must be here because of one reason. You misplaced one of your companions. You have no idea where these mofos ran off to. Maybe Dog Meat's out there licking himself, Preston bothered to finally bother somebody else about a settlement that needed saving, or Strong's out there trying to find the milk of human kindness? Whatever the fuck that is. The point is, these guys are AFK and you have no idea where they're at. Now this is actually a very common problem for a lot of Fallout 4 players. I've even had some comments left in some of my earlier videos where people are asking me if I know any way to find a lost companion. Well, you made your way to the right part of the internet, guys. In this little quick guide, I'm going to show you guys how to find any lost companion you ever have in Fallout, both on the PC and on the console. Let's get to it. Now I guess we'll start things off with addressing how exactly you would find the Lost Companions if you're gaming on the PC. And for all of you, Ew, PC is mess of rage. Console is trash. Kind of people out there? Yeah, go ahead and chuck yourself up a point for this one. Finding a Lost Companion on the PC is very simple. All you have to do is open up a command prompt by hitting the little title key. You know, the little squiggly line right there below the escape key. And then from there, type in the command PRID, followed by the ID of whatever companion you're looking for. After that, type in the command move to player, where there's no space in between move and to, space, and then the word player. And then after that, you should have the companion magically pop up out of thin air next to you. Now you can scour the internet to find your companion's ID, or you can go ahead and look right down there in the comment box, and I'll have them all listed for you guys. You know, being the kind, generous person that I am, or the fact that I'm lonely and don't have anything that's better to do with my time. Hello darkness, my old friend. Moving on. Now for all my console people out there, I'm not forgetting about you guys. I haven't really seen any guides of anyone trying to address how exactly to find a companion if you're on the console, and it's been a big issue. But I'm here to show you guys some love. If you are playing on the console and one of your companions go missing, all you have to do is go to one of your settlements and set up a bell. After that, just go ahead and ring the bell, and you'll see that slowly, but surely, everyone in that settlement will always gather around you. Just give it a minute or so, and any settlers plus companions that you have set up at that settlement will slowly accumulate around you. Now, it does take a while to use the bell, so if you do want to speed it up, you do have the option to use a siren, but just make sure it's powered by electricity. If you do that instead, they'll all draw their weapons and everyone start hauling ass to your position. It's faster, but then you do have to deal with the annoying ass alarm. Now, the downside about this, guys, is say the companion you're looking for is not in the settlement after everyone all gathers around, then it means you're going to have to wash, rinse, and repeat this method throughout all of your settlements you have established until eventually you find the companion you're looking for. Now, I can go ahead and hear the comments that's going to come through about this. Ugh, Bryson, I don't want to spend my time following my companions. They're supposed to follow me. I've got more important things to do, like kill red bookies. Well, then you know what? Then Melon Farmer, maybe you shouldn't have misplaced them in the first place. It's not going to be a quick thing, guys, but it's definitely possible to do. Four or five minutes. It depends on how many settlements you really have set up. If you went through all of Preston's bullshit and you actually did every single mission he wanted you to do, yeah, that's a lot of settlements to go through. But what's the alternative? Completely losing Piper? Hell no. What else am I supposed to stare at when I'm out there in the Commonwealth? Just look at all them high detailed graphics on that ass. I mean, I mean, the, uh, grass. Grass. Nah, I mean the ass. Uh, wait, where was I going with this again? Oh, the, the guide, right, the guide. Looks like that's going to wrap everything up for this one, guys. If you have any other questions and concerns about what to do in Fallout, or if you come across any other problems, go ahead and leave us a comment in the box below. Someone asking us a question to begin with is what inspired this video, and we love hearing back from you guys. Also, if you would, guys, go and smash that like button. It does really help us out as a group. Plus, it helps other people be able to find the same video you were looking for. So that way, if anyone has the same concern as you about losing a companion, they can easily find the video. And one last thing, guys. If you want to have your very own sexy teddy bear head mascot of your own, go ahead and check out this link right here. That way, you can look like yours truly. But until next time, guys, my name is Bryson from BCNS Games, and I'll check you guys in the next video. Roll the outro!